This is a quick demonstration of the text to path script that I released today. You can install it from here in the Obsidian tools menu. You click on install scripts and here in the search bar, you can simply type in text to path and it should jump to text to path like this. And here, if I click on this, it will scroll me down to this page where I can simply click on install script and then the script is installed. You get that message. And from here, it's pretty easy to use this script. All you need to do is you need to draw a path. For example, I'm going to draw a path like this and you have two options. First, you can just simply select the path that you have created. You need to open the command palette, control or command P and type in text to path like that. So there's the script. And if I run the script, I can add the text here. This is the text that goes on the path like that. And I can just simply press OK and the text is fitted to the path. Now, it is not 100% accurate. Maybe in a later release, I'm going to fix that. But for now, I think this is definitely good enough. Now, for example, if you would want to change the path, then you can do this. You can just simply modify the path. Maybe I'm going to add one more turn here like that. I'm going to just bring it up. Maybe it's going to be like this. Let me create some space. And if I come here and select my text again, I can again run text to path like this and it will pick up the text. And if the path is still available, I can fit it to the new path. So there you go. It's now on the new path. Not perfect again, but it's good enough. For example, if I would change the font size, I can do the same. If I change the font size, of course, now it doesn't look very good, but I can just make this path a bit bigger. I can come back to my text and I can fit text to path. And of course, I can just simply fit the new text on the path. And there you go. It's on the path or without the path. Now, I think one thing you might want to do for easy access, you want to set up a hotkey for this. So I'm going to open the Obsidian hotkey settings and I'm going to look here for text to path like this. And I'm just going to give this a hotkey. I'm going to give this Alt X. Now, there are different ways to create paths. So let's say I want to take this text and I want to add this to a circle instead. So I can select the text and the circle and I can press Alt X. In case of circles, you can choose the text to be above or below the circle. I'm just going to select below and click enter. And now the text is below the circle. Now there are certain situations. So let's say I have this rectangle here. I'm going to give this a background color uh, like this. I have this rectangle here and I'm going to have my mind mapping line extending from my rectangle like this. And I want to add this text to my rect to my mind mapping line so I can just press Alt X. But if I add it like this, you will see that the text begins where the line begun and I want it to begin a bit later on. First of all, I'm going to make the text smaller as well. So then you have this option to give it an offset. So I'm going to give this an offset of 60 points. Maybe that's not enough, but you can play with that. So now I have my text on this branch. And of course, if now I draw a different branch, I can also just select the branch and uh, this is text that goes on the branch like that and control enter will put this there. Now you can see that in this case, because the, the first line had this long um, 
path in the beginning so in this case I would need to change this probably to 20 or something like that and now it's here if you want to play with it you can just move it off the line but I think again this is good enough now this works with all sorts of shapes so if I take a rectangle for example and I add so this is text around a rectangle of course as you would expect the text is here around the rectangle so that's about it this is how the text to path works play with it I also am happy if someone wants to provide enhancements there are a couple of enhancements I could imagine for example adding a slider here and have the text move around the rectangle because now I need to play with this I can add 200 here and then the text is going to move so that would be great to have a slider there and to move the text real time also it would be great to figure out the positioning so it doesn't overlap just slightly so there are some things still to do but I think this is already pretty powerful so enjoy if you have some improvements then please submit a PR and let me know what you think in the comments below thank you